Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW repairs and information. Well, it's a beautiful day in the UK today, absolutely boiling, but I've got a coolant leak I need to sort out. Yeah, it's only a small coolant leak, but the problem with coolant leaks is not only do they let coolant out, they also let air out as well. And it's important because of course the N62 engine and in fact the M62 and so on in the E38 all run above the boiling point of plain water and very, very close to the boiling point of BMW coolant. Now the only way that it stays a liquid is to pressurise the system. So as the system warms up, the coolant expands into the expansion tank and that creates pressure and that retains the coolant as a liquid. So if we lose any of this pressure, then of course we're going to start having problems with boiling of the coolant. And once the, the coolant starts boiling, then you're in a world of hurt because then it doesn't efficiently cool the engine. So we need to sort that as a matter of urgency. Right, here's the pipe in question. It's the return line from the radiator. And this is the highest point in the system. So the plan is that any um, air in the system will travel along this pipe and into the top of the expansion tank where it's separated from the coolant. But we get a, a movement of coolant through this line at high revs and so on when the water pump's really moving. In other situations, it really does very little at all. But as you can see here, well, hopefully you can see here, there's marks that show that coolant's been leaking from this joint here. Now there shouldn't be a Jubilee click on there. And the reason there is, is because I replaced this very soon after I got the car because I noticed it was, it was leaking. In fact, it's quite difficult to tell it's leaking from there. It actually goes into a number of clips here. And this line is very fragile. Like a lot of BMW plastics, it becomes brittle with age and any slight movement, it will get a slight crack in it and it will start leaking coolant. And the giveaway is that there's coolant around this point here. So that's a good sign that this pipe is leaking. Now you don't just replace this pipe, it's uh, an assembly from BMW that starts right at the expansion tank where it's got a zero insertion force <laughs> connector, which are always a real pain to remove. I've never found one that's easy to come off. Goes all the way along the top of the radiator and into the top of the radiator. And that's got a one-time use clip as well, so we have to remove that. And as I say, I hate these things. I don't mind putting them on if you've got the right tool, but getting them back off again is a real pain. And of course, the top of the radiator is probably quite fragile. And we don't want to put any pressure on there. And I found the best way to get them off is with a pair of decent side cutters. So what we'll do is I'll get the assembly. Now, of course, when dealing with coolant, um, coolant is highly poisonous to cats and dogs and they're attracted by the sweet smell and taste. So it's imperative that if we have any slight leaks, and we will only have slight leaks from this as we remove it, that we wash them away uh, straight away so cats don't start, come up and start slurping it because it is uh, highly poisonous and they do die a horrible death. So you've been warned, so let's get the replacement pipe. I'll show you that next. Right, here's the pipe, all one bit. Ooh, even looks the right shape, doesn't it? So better check that it's gonna fit on there to start with. So it's a one use clip as it goes on to the radiator and quick release thing at the other end. Um, so we're gonna need a hose clip for this. So go and find a hose clip for that first. And use a hose clip and not a Jubilee clip because hose clips are designed specifically for these hoses and they put an even pressure around them whereas jubilee clips don't they do it sort of like 270 degrees and the the last few degrees it doesn't put any pressure on at all so there we go we've got the right one let's get on with it now here's a quick um video of me removing a one of these one-time use hose clamps on the bench to, so you can get a better look of it yeah these obviously have a start point on them and with a pair of side cutters, you can generally get them off. There we go. Took a couple of goes, and that's how it's done. Right, 
here we go. Hopefully we're not going to lose a lot. We can use blue tack in it. So we'll get the other pipe ready to go on. I'll cover that with my finger. There we go. So we're not going to lose a great deal. Remove the old pipe. It all looks fine down there. And when we replace the new pipe, we're going to use a hose clamp, not a Jubilee clip. 13, 11 to 13 is about the right size for this. I'll try and do it with one hand so you can see the plan without losing a lot of coolant. There we go. So when the new one goes on, there we go so we're not going to lose a lot of coolant during this uh, repair so that's good that's on and I'll wash that clear and my hands there we go keep the water running underneath Screwdriver to do it back up again. So this is what we'll be doing with a new pipe. They don't need to be done up that tight. There's not a great deal of pressure here. As long as the pipe can't come off, that's fine. Right, let's move up to the other end. Right, well, I'm not expecting to lose much coolant at the top end. This is the highest point of the system now, so we don't expect much coolant to be there. This is how you remove these connectors with a screwdriver. In fact, it's a special tool, tool I've seen from BMW that uh, helps you get these clips off. But they just need to be lifted up, disconnected from the clamp, and then just to wiggle it until it comes off. Now, some of them are very tight and you have to work at them to get them off. And we're off. And no coolant loss. Bit of grease on that boss. A tiny bit of general purpose grease. There we go. Really not much at all. This makes it so much easier if you need to get it back off again. Oh yeah, that general purpose grease. And righty ho, he just pushes on to there. Simple as that. And then we've got to put it in this clamp. There. there we go. Make sure that the clamp goes straight back down again and clamp him into there. Okay, so double check. Wire clip's gone all the way down. All fitted in tight. There we go. There we go then, job all done. Now if you lost any significant amount of coolant, obviously you need to replace it and always replace it with BMW's own coolant. It's not expensive, it's just not worth using any other coolant. Don't just top it off with tap water, yep, use the coolant. I don't need to, I lost just a tiny bit of coolant and my float's still floating nicely. Obviously take the car for a drive and make sure the float still is floating when the car's cooled down, of course. But there you go, it's quite a simple job. Just remember about the cats and dogs and coolant being highly poisonous. We don't want to kill our pets, that's for sure. Okay, so quickly reiterate what we did. Very simple repair. Unclip the old one from there. Use the side cutters to get the one time use clamp off. Have your new pipe ready. Pull it off, stick the new one on with the hose clip already in place. 11 to 13 mil is the hose clip size you need for that. Lay the new one across. Get ready to remove this. Use a screwdriver to lift the clip up. Have your new one ready, pull it out, quick wipe of grease on it, put the new one straight on and you're gonna lose very little coolant altogether. And quite often you won't get any coolant at all coming out of here uh, because this is the highest point in the system. Okay, so that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Yeah, put a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and it helped you. And I'll see you next time.